The Care Act places a general duty on the local authority to cooperate with other partners who are responsible for providing either health care or health related services. Integration is the cornerstone of quality care and the importance of the Act in recognising that health and social care need to work together is because this is how we deliver better services. What we're really trying to achieve here is a personalised service, a service that's tailored to the individual needs of the service user or patient and we believe that by bringing people together from different services we can provide that much better personal relationship between our staff and the people that use our services. We are now um, using Mansfield District Council as what we call trusted assessors. So we're quite happy if a housing officer identifies a social care need when they're visiting one of their service users for them to contribute to our overall assessment rather than us sending out staff to start the whole process over again. Hello, I'm Kath Moore. I work at Mansfield District Council and I'm helping uh, Kingsville Hospital with their hospital discharge scheme. ASSIST is a holistic approach that we've developed that can assist people who are in need. It's the ASSIST model because we respond immediately to people's requests, whether it be the referrer or the, the person that's going to be referred to us. We try and identify suitable accommodation in an area that may be close to the family networks or other support networks that they may have. We identify a property and we fast track for that accommodation for that person. We try and make them as comfortable as possible. Social workers and whatnot thought that it'd be better if we got a place on a level like this, or pretty much level. So you're not lifting, you're not going from one step to another. It's run by Mansfield District Council as a sort of halfway house between hospital and getting a place that would be better. They've worked hard, these people, and they've come up with a, with a bungalow which is quite close to where I used to live. You don't feel that you're alone, you know. There are other shoulders you can lean on, <laughs> if you like. If, uh, if you were just dumped from the hospital, the majority of them wouldn't recover from it. They've uh, helped me along the way, reassurance. We've got our own internal departments, as well as neighbourhood offices and things like that that we work with. We've got social care, we've got local housing providers, we've got um, housing associations. It's been a challenge for the ASSIST team, meeting new people, breaking barriers down. We're bringing all partners together. We're sharing a similar goal, which is an individual thing for that individual person because everybody is different. PRISM, also known as Integrated Care Team, is um, a team set up with multidisciplinary elements within it. One of the biggest benefits has been communication. Rather than if one of the members of staff had been out to see that patient, they've come back, they've then had to refer through or telephone a specialist, let's say. They don't have to do that. We're under one roof, we're having regular meetings. It's a lot more proactive, you get things done very quickly. People are around you to ask questions and you don't feel as isolated. The other really helpful thing is that then we can work together. Like we do a lot of joint visits and it makes my assessment fuller and gives a rounder picture of the whole person and then it makes it easier to support them and to give them the services that are really going to improve their lives and make things easier for them and prevent them from going into hospital. For me, PRISM is important because it's not just the health professionals who are within the team, but they have recognised and embraced the fact that there are services outside of the health profession that would actually support um, it's the holistic of approach that I like.
The enthusiasm for this system is amazing. It shall work because we utterly and completely believe it's in the best interests of patients that they should be treated where they are most comfortable. I have recently had experience of a couple who have had a whole series of Husband Falls 999 Hospital and this had gone on for several years. He also has prostate cancer and he has lots of other things that are ongoing and long-term conditions. And the cycle was getting worse. It was approximately every three months that he was going to hospital. Last June he fell, back to hospital he comes, but this time he was transferred to the community ward. Whilst he was there he was thoroughly assessed, he was taken in an ambulance to his home so they could see what he needed at home and a team was put in place. The major difference being when someone comes now it's someone who has their medical history. Since he's been having the home help he's literally been able to get to walking with a, a walker again. So for her it's peace of mind it's not having to worry uh, in the dark moments in the middle of the night whether or not you ought to ring 999 or if it will be crying wolf which is what happens if you don't have a team it's about the fact that the anxiety doesn't build up because she knows there are people there not just for her husband but for her as well um, since the fall in 2013 he's not been back to hospital because the care team anticipate what problems may come or they can discuss what problems are starting to come and they can nip them in the bud because they can always bring in another member of the team if another skill is required. That is the secret to PRISM and it's wonderful and it works. I love going into the meetings, I love sitting with your nurses, I love them asking us questions. Could you help us with this? If it's about a toilet raiser, then an OT will go out. If it's about an OT going out and seeing that the person's in crisis, they'll ask the CPN to go out. If it's a CPN that goes out and notices an ulcer on the leg, they'll ask the nurse to go out. So it's, that, it's addressing that need at that time and getting it done before it goes into crisis. The idea of working together with other agencies is that we can bring together services that are not necessarily um, the remit of the County Council, but nevertheless can make a vital contribution to people's general overall well-being. Integrated care uh, allows me to give the service that I would like to give, and it's brought more people stability in their lives and a better environment to live.